All right, welcome back to a new um, Roblox development tutorial. In this video, I'm going to just talk about the new task library. And I actually um, didn't know about this until someone um, on my channel named Midget Man um, decided to bring this up. So thanks. Um, that's an interesting name, but <laughs> that's besides the point. Um, so basically, this new task library, this was made seven days ago, so apparently I haven't been paying attention to announcements or something. Um, but basically, it's these are faster ways to do what you can do already. So for example, task.spawn, that um, is a better replacement for the normal spawn, and I believe that doesn't have, uh, I don't, I think they got rid of the default weight that it does when it uh, fires, which is sort of cool. Um, so I don't really know a difference how this would be different from core routines now, uh, but that's pretty interesting. Then we have um, task.defer. Takes a thread or function and defers it until the next resumption cycle, at which point it is resumed with the engine scheduler. Initial arguments are passed to the thread at, or the function being resumed. So I actually haven't looked at this yet. So resumption cycle is um, what they're calling this. So it's basically uh, a way to test.defer is like a way to have something happen um, later. I don't know. I don't know much about it. I. I probably won't use anything like that, but I'll definitely look into it, and you probably should as well, because it might help you as well. Uh, then we have task.delay. Takes a thread or function and schedules it for resumption after the given amount of time has elapsed on the next heartbeat step. The thread is resumed with built-in error handling and support for other engine features. Any additional arguments are passed through the thread or function there. So this uh, task.delay uh, has like a function so it's like you fire a function at a certain duration and it continues like while like it'll it'll basically run it in a um i i, I don't know if new thread's the right word because as far as i know lua is single threaded but it'll um basically go on with the script until the duration occurs or until it waits that long and then it'll do that pretty much then we have task.wait and this is um an interesting one they are um changing weight so this is actually more um more exact than the current weight and i heard somewhere that the current weight just saying weight um will be deprecated at some point. I don't know if that's true or not, but um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So anyway, uh, let me just go into a studio game and just show all these things. Oh, I left that up. Okay, we don't need, we don't need the render summary. It's fine. <laughs> um, so if we create a new script here, you can see uh, if we say task.wait, Basically, task is a keyword now. So if I said task.wait, um, that's going to be almost exactly like the normal um, saying wait. I actually don't know exactly how they're different. But these will be more reliable, and this is what they're going to focus on when they make new updates, I assume, because, well, it's new. So anyway, um, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, if you liked, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel, as well as turning on post notifications to get notified whenever I upload a new video. And also, we have a Discord server right here. Um, so I basically have created a community where everyone can, um, anyone can do, <laughs> talk about developing or anything like that. So if you want to join, the link is down in the description or also in the about section of my channel page. And anyway, thanks for watching and goodbye.